we are going to take a look at writing numerical and algebraic expressions. So on your sheet, you have some different phrases such as more than, less than, fewer than. And it's important to look over these um, as we are going through the different examples. So we're going to start with the first example, A. So in this example, it says eight fewer than 21. This is one of the phrases up at the top that it, when it says fewer than, this is one that you are going to reverse the order of the values that are given. So when it says eight fewer than 21, fewer than means to subtract, but I'm actually going to put 21 first and take eight fewer than 21. So if I start with 21 and I take eight fewer than that, I have to subtract it from 21. Example B says the product of 30 and nine. The key word product here means to multiply, and it says the product of 30 and nine. And when I'm multiplying here and 30 comes first, I'm going to write it as 30 times nine. So you can use a dot. Another way to write that is to put one or both of the numbers in parentheses. My next example says 14 more than a number X. This is another phrase up at the top that it tells you to reverse the order. So when you see the phrase more than, you are going to reverse the order of the values and or the variables. So this is an algebraic expression because we have at least one variable and we have one number value and at least one operation. So if my number is x, x, and then more than means to add, so it's x plus 14. I have 14 more than x, so 14 has to come second. My next example says the quotient of 3 and a number z. My clue word here is quotient. Quotient means to divide. And it's the quotient of the number three and z. So this is another algebraic expression. Since three comes first, we are going to write that first. And we are going to write it in fraction form. So we're going to put three over z. This is a way that you will commonly see division problems written when you're working with algebraic expressions. Our next example says the sum of 18 and a number. So my clue operation word here is sum. Sum means to add. And it has 18 and a number. So they don't give you a specific variable for the number, so you can use any variable. I typically like to use just the n because the word number begins with n. And I'm going to write it in this order, 18 and n. So it's 18 plus n. My next example, 25 less than a number b. Here's another phrase when it says less than, then I am going to reverse the order of my values. My first value is 25. And my second value is unknown, but it is represented by the variable b. So again, since I is the, have the phrase less than, I have to reverse the order, and I have to put b first, and then minus 25. Okay, so 25 less than what you started with. So you have to visualize what this means. If I'm starting with something of b, maybe it's 30 pieces of candy, and I have 25 less than that number, I am subtracting 25 from the number I started with. The next example is 100 decreased by a number k. So my phrase here, decrease by, that means to subtract. I have a value of 100 and a variable k. So it's 100 minus k because it's decreased by that number. You will want to follow along here on your next example, which is the word problem. So it says, the length of Interstate 90 from the west coast to the east coast is 153.5 miles more than two times the length of Interstate 15 from Southern California to Northern Montana. Let M be the length of Interstate 15. Which expression can you use to represent the length of Interstate 90? 
So in this particular example, I have identified your key phrases. So this is where you have to use your cube strategies. So I have 153.5 miles, okay, and two times would be my numbers. A couple of the clue words are is the phrase more than. Okay, so more than is going to mean to add. This word times here means to multiply. So when I'm looking at my different expressions and the options I have, I need to have one that has addition, and I need to have one that is taking two times the length. And again, the length is represented by the variable m in this example. So more than means to add. So I can already eliminate B and C because they are subtraction. More than means I have to reverse the order. So 153.5 has to come um, second and the 2M has to come first. So my expression A, 2M plus 153.5 would represent 153.5 five miles more than two times the length.